What kind of awesomeness did I get in the mail today? Oh yeah. Thank you Kyle for the Sharp NES TV black controllers. My god. Okay. Great story on these. Um, he has one of my RGB modded, NES RGB modded top loaders that was having, having the EverDrive snow problem and while I was still on part two or three or whatever everybody's getting frustrated and he told me, he said, you fix this and you'll, you can have those controllers and of course that was right after I had had that first um, Sharp NES TV video and uh, um, I got him today and I emailed him and thanked him and he said he actually picked these up for two dollars a piece locally for wherever he's at and that is a steal of a deal so really appreciate that that will go awesome into the lot he also sent me one of these you know what that is don't you that is the one donor cart that you can use for Mr. Gimmick so that will be an upcoming video as well since it was a free cart for me and I'm not really you know, going to destroy something that I paid, and it's not really a fantastic label either. It's looks like it's uh, got soaked in water or something underneath of it. It's kind of messed up. So, you know, it's one of the better repos to make. So I'll show that. But anyway, I'm going to test these black ones and these black controllers and open them up and see what's crazy cool about them. Okay, so the first easy thing to do is just simply test and make sure they work. <laughs> I'd say these did not get used very much. Still a very good feel on each button. Nice. And if you want a close up of this cool controller, it's kind of weird it doesn't say Nintendo up there, but it does have the normal backside. Model number NES004. What a screw. Those screws could use a replacing. Awful cruddy. So let's uh, take apart the inside real quick. Okay, so all the screws are loose. And that looks exactly like every other controller board I've ever seen. It's like the same insides and everything. And not surprisingly, the plastic on the inside is also black. And this thing really needs cleaned. So that tells me that it was actually molded with black plastic and not just painted or something, which pretty much figured anyway. So, yeah. Not much interesting to see there. Luckily, the screws were easy to brighten up just by using a, a steel brush. They weren't really rusty, they just had a lot of crap on them. So, no need to replace them. Well, that was easy and it does look a lot better. I still need to clean out the holes. I'll take it back apart and give it a bath here right before I sell the whole unit. But, yeah, unfortunately, uh, short video. Not super interesting, but uh, pretty good update for the whole Sharp NES TV series.